Well, David, as you know, Governor Brown is uh, going to be celebrating here tonight. He has in the past celebrated in, Sa in San Francisco or Los Angeles, some of the other big cities, but tonight he is celebrating with some of his top cabinet advisors here in Sacramento at the old governor's mansion, which just happens to be the very spot his family lived for eight years. After voting early this morning in Oakland with faithful companion Sutter Brown at his side, Jerry Brown tried to lower expectations of a big victory. Yes, uh, everything looks good, uh, but no one knows what tomorrow will bring. And there's always uh, issues, there's uh, catastrophes, there's scandals, uh, there's mistakes. So I, I'm a bit wary uh, as I uh, do this for the fourth time. No one in California history has ever been elected governor four times. Brown's father, Pat Brown, served two terms while living here in the governor's mansion on H Street. Jerry Brown was away in college in law school, but his mother, Bernice, told KCRA of concern she had with the mansion in this interview conducted circa 1960. It has a great deal of charm. I enjoy it. Um, when I first moved in, I had a problem sleeping. It's, uh, 16th Street isn't the quietest street in Sacramento. It is the main highway east, as you know, and the noise of the trucks bothered me a great deal. The noise bothered Ronald and Nancy Reagan, too, and the Reagans moved out of the governor's mansion in 1967 after fire officials called it a fire trap. Jerry Brown, seen here in this color footage from that era, never lived in the governor's mansion. And you're looking at live pictures now of the room that Dosen tell us that Jerry Brown used to live in and stay in, actually when he was visiting when Pat Brown was governor back between 1958 and 1966. Governor Brown was a student at Yale Law School at the time. Tonight, of course, he's governor. He's back. He's here going to be celebrating with some of his top cabinet advisors and special advisors and then watching election returns. And we're told that he'll come out and make some sort of a comment after the polls close. We'll be here to bring you those comments live. All Reporting right. live in downtown Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KC. CRA 3 News. We'll check back in with you throughout the night. Mike, thank you.